everyone i am dr adarshdi and today we are going to discuss about the insect pests of stored grain normally the food grains are stored either for the future consumption or for the seeds several pests have been reported to be associated with the stored grains and the milled cereals occasionally found to damage the stores seriously they falls in two categories first is primary insect pests which can damage the all kinds of stored grains and second is secondary insect pests which attack the broken or the milled grains these grains should be preserved from the losses due to the insects fungi and other pests the total loss to stored grain due to the improper storage is about 100 crores that losses can be reduced by studying the various aspects of the life cycle of the insect pests and their control so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the important pests of stored grain let us start one by one the important pests of stored grain which we are going to study today are the wheat weevil zoological name is trogoderma granarium the pulse beetle callosobranchus maculatus the rice weevil cetophilus urizi the grain and floor moth cytotroga cerellella the rust red floor beetle zoological name is tribolium castanium and the lesser grain borer Rhizopertha dominica. The first pest is the wheat weevil. Zoological name is Trogoderma granarium. It is also known as Khapra beetle. Khapra in Hindi and Urdu means the destroyer. Khapra brung. And this pest is considered one of the hundred worst invasive species in the world. Regarding its tech. taxonomic status it belongs to class insecta order coleoptera family dermecitidae genus is trogoderma and species is granarium so zoological name is trogoderma granarium regarding its distribution the khapra beetle or trogoderma granarium originated in south asia and is one of the world's most destructive pest of grain products and seeds it is native to india and has become established in other countries in the mediterranean middle east asia and africa and now this beetle is almost cosmopolitan in distribution it occurs in hot dry conditions especially in areas which for at least 4 months of the year have a mean temperature greater than 20 degree centigrade and relative humidity below the 50% in india uttar pradesh haryana punjab bihar and rajasthan are the states where stored wheat is badly damaged by this beetle pest regarding the host it prefer wheat but it also found on rice maize jowar bajra grains etc as far as its general appearance is concerned adult trogoderma granarium are oval pale red brown or black colored indistinct markings on the wing covers females are about 2.5 mm in length and males are about half the size of the female so female is longer than the male You can see here in the slide that dorsal surface of the body is moderately clothed in fine hairs. Pronotum is dark brown. Pronotum means dorsal sclerite of the prothorax. So you can see here it is dark brown. A median ocellus is present between the compound eyes. Antennae are moderate in size, usually have 11 segments, but due to some fusion of the segments these can be nine in number in the male apical segment of the club is elongated in comparison 
with that of the female. You can see here that antennae fit into the ventral grooves in the prothorax. So this insect can easily identify by its morphological features. Now the habits. This beetle shows very interesting habits. Like the adult beetle does not bore into host material. It's the larva which feeds on the grains. The young larvae feed on the damaged seed or the grains and the older larvae on the whole grains. Adult meet after 2-3 to three days of the emergence and females lay eggs on upper surface of stored grains. Trogoderma granarium has 10 to 12 generations in a year. The grubs pupate inside the grains. Hibernation occurs at grub stage. This pest can survive without food for a long period. So its infestations are difficult to control. It prefers dry conditions and low moisture food. Now the life cycle. It has four stages eggs, grubs, pupa and adult. In this slide you can see the eggs in first picture. Then this is the final instar larva and this is the pupa in skin of final instar and this is the adult beetle about to escape from the cuticle of the pupa. So these are the four stages of life cycle of Trogoderma granarium. The egg the larva, the pupa and the adult. The whole life cycle is completed in 34 to 76 days. If we talk about the eggs, they are white in color, semi-transparent, oval and about 0.5 mm long and the adults copulate just 2 to 3 days after emergence. Then females lay eggs on grains. A female can lay up to 150 eggs. The second stage is grubs. After the incubation period of 5 to 16 days, the brownish hairy grubs emerged out. The grubs start feeding on the embryo of the broken grains. The male grubs larval period is of 19 to 28 days and that of female grub is 20 to 37 days. The full grown grub is about 5 mm in length. And as I have told you earlier in habits of this insect, it hibernates in this form. Third stage is pupa. This fully grown grub pupates in a dirty brown colored cocoon inside the grain and pupa remains for 4 to 17 days. Then the adults emerge out from the grains and their lifespan is of 15 to 30 days. Now let us study the life cycle diagrammatically. As I have told you earlier that life cycle of Trogoderma granarium comprises four stages. Egg, larva that is known as grub, pupa and adult. Adults just after their emergence from the pupal stage copulate and after copulation female lays eggs immediately if the temperature is 40 degrees centigrade. And the egg laying lasts for 3 to 4 days. And if the temperature is low, like 25 degrees centigrade, pre ovulation period is of 2 to 3 days, and ovulation may extend over a period of 12 days. So, mated female lays eggs on the grains, and these eggs are white, translucent, oval in shape, and is about 0.5 millimeter long. And a single female can lay up to 150 eggs. These eggs are glued to a grain. The female die soon after the egg laying and the male live 1 to 4 days longer. Then after the incubation period of 5 to 9 days, eggs hatch into the yellowish white 1.5 mm long hairy grubs which is larval stage. For this hatching, Proper conditions of temperature and humidity is required. The grubs are brown in color and they are hairy. These larvae are extremely resistant creatures, resistant to pesticides, resistant to adverse temperatures, 
humidity and also resistant to starvation for months to years. They may enter diapause under unfavorable conditions and remain hidden for up to four years and recommencing development when conditions improve. Diaposing larvae are difficult to control with either insecticides or the fumigants. This, these larvae undergo molting four times and become full grown in 24 to 40 days. It is for females and in 20 to 40 days for the males. The next stage is pupa. These larvae pupates and pupae usually remain inside the green skin of the final instar stage. Pupal development is unaffected by humidity and varies in length from 5 days at 25 degree centigrade to 3 days at 40 degree centigrade. During emergence, the pupal skin is pushed to the posterior end of the larval skin and the adult remains within the skin for day or more. Adults do not feed or fly and are short-lived about 14 days. In this way, the whole life cycle is completed in 34 to 76 days. Now the damage. As I have told you earlier that this insect is considered one of the 100 worst invasive species in the world. Grubs are the damage causing stage in the life cycle of Trogoderma granarium. Adult is harmless. This beetle is surface feeder and infest on the top layers of the stored grains, usually not going deeper than 50 cm. First attack is generally at the embryo point, but later when infestation becomes heavy, other parts of the grain are also badly damaged. Maximum attack is between July to October. Its preference for dry conditions and low moisture food and its resistance to many insecticides mark it quite destructive. Its feeding damage often spoils 30% of the product and during heavy infestation up to 70% damage has been reported. In this slide you can see the damage caused by the Trogoderma granarium. Now the control. As we have studied earlier that grains under storage conditions suffer major damage due to the infestation of the insect pests. Safety of the stored grains from the damage caused by the insect pest largely depends on the proper management of the three factors. These are moisture, availability of oxygen, and development of the temperature gradient within the stored grains. So, the grain should be dried, moisture should not be more than 10% and these should be stored carefully. Storage structure should be sufficiently airtight to reduce the oxygen content because an insect species requires a particular minimum concentration of oxygen and it dies once the oxygen content goes below that minimum. Goodowns should be clean, not be damp. One type of grains should be stored in one godown. As this pest is surface feeder, in case of infestation, upper layers should be removed. Adults and grubs can be trapped by putting gunny bags on over the infested grains. This way, the insect cling on the bags and they can be destroyed. Regarding the chemical control, fumigation should be done before storage. In case of silo, silo means storage tower. Fumigants should be placed in a container and should be hanged for easy removal and preventing the mixing of commodity with the spent residues. Peripheral of the silo to be sprayed thoroughly with the Delta methane WP aluminium phosphide fumigation. Spraying should be carried out one day before removing the covers. Methyl bromide fumigation can also be used, but in this case, spraying should be done after releasing fumigants. Siphanothrin 
5.0% EC in 25 milliliter per liter can be used. 10 liter of such solution can be used per 500 square meter. Pyrimiphos methyl 5% EC should be diluted at the rate of 10 milliliter per liter and dosage will be 5 liter for per 100 square meter. By these methods, this can be controlled. While controlling the pest, one should do these things. Use chemical mask and hand gloves. Mix WP formulation thoroughly before filling spray equipment to avoid clogging of the nozzle. Wash hands thoroughly after the treatment. Maintain a record because record treatment in pesticide usage log sheet for future reference. Second very important is don'ts means do not do these things. First, do not spray directly on the food products. If you do that, then it cannot be consumable. Second is do not spray on electrical wires and appliances. Do not eat, drink and smoke while treatment. Never store chemicals along with the food products. Now the next pest is the pulse beetle. Zoological name of this pest is Calosobranchus maculatus. Regarding systematic position, this pest belongs to class Insecta. Order Coleoptera, Family Laridae, Genus Calosubrancus, and Species is Maculatus. That's why it is called as Calosubrancus maculatus. Regarding its habits, lifespan of Calosubrancus maculatus is about 8 to 21 days. Regarding its mating habits, adults Mate about 10 minutes after emergence and mating lasts for 3 to 20 minutes. Calosobranchus maculatus hibernate during winter. Mated female lays eggs in the upper layers of the stored grains. Eggs are laid singly and the whole life cycle is completed in 60 days but may be prolonged due to the temperature and humidity conditions. So in winter, the life cycle is of longer duration and in the summers, it is of shorter duration. Its larval stage is voracious and the grubs pupate inside the grains. Now the damage. Calosobranchus is a serious pest of pulses in storages as well as of the standing crop in the fields. Larval stage, also called grub, is the main damage causing stage in its life cycle. Majority of these brookets attack the leguminous pod in the field where from they are carried to the storage godowns. However, they cause serious damage under storage conditions. In the fields, newly hatched grub bore into the developing seed inside the pod. As the pulse grain matures earlier than the insect inside and the result is that the grain is harvested and stored in an outwardly healthy condition even though the internal infestation may be quite high. Inside the seed, grubs feed on the soft tissue and consumes the entire contents of the seed, leaving only the testa behind. One or more circular holes of about 1 mm wide in the seeds mark the emergence point of the grubs. Maximum damage under storage conditions occur during April to October. The intensity of infestation depends on the humidity and temperature. Infested seeds becomes useless and unfit for the human consumption. The adult beetles do not cause appreciable damage to the seeds. In this slide, you can see the damage caused by the 
Callosobranchus maculatus. You can see the eggs present on the legume. This is the marking which shows the infestation, mark of infestation. Here you can see the damaged crop. These are the pupae inside the grain. Again, you can see eggs and damaged grains. Next pest is rice weevil. Zoological name is Citrophilus urizi. Regarding the taxonomic status, this pest belongs to class Insecta, order Coleoptera, family Cruculionidae, genus Citrophilus, and species is Urizi. Regarding the habits, the life cycle is of 28 to 35 days in this pest. Adult Citrophilus urizi are able to fly and can live for up to two years. So their lifespan is two years. This pest infest wheat, oat, rye, barley, rice and corn. Male Citrophilus urizi produces an aggregation pheromone called Citrophilure to which males and females are drawn. Females also produce a pheromone which attracts only males. Females are longer than males. The females use strong mandibles to chew a hole into the grain, after which she deposits a single egg within the hole, sealing it with the secretions from her ovipositor. So female makes hole in the seed by mandibles and sealed it by wax excretion after egg laying inside. Grubs feed on the soft part of the grain and pupate inside the grain. Adult emerge out of the seed and start breeding. Now the damage. Citrophilus urizi is the most destructive insect pest of the stored grains in the world. Both grubs and adults feed on rice grains, less commonly on wheat and maize grains. In humid condition, infestation is more. Only the skin of the grain is left behind and the grain becomes incapable of germination and unfit for human consumption. Maximum damage of grains in storage occurs between August to October and it is least in summers. Due to heavy infestation, loss can be reached up to 50%. Here in this slide, you can see the damaged grains. You can see here the corns which are infested by this pest. In this picture, you can see the wheat crop damaged by the pest. And in the next picture is barley and rice. The pulse beat. The next pest is grain and floor mold. Zoological name of this pest is Citrotroga cerealella. Commonly it is known as Angumoes grain mold. Regarding taxonomic status, this pest belongs to class Insecta, order Lepidoptera, family Gilechidae, genus Citrotroga and species is Cerealella. That's why its zoological name is Citrotroga cerealella. Citrotroga cerealella is distributed all over the world. The major store grains which are affected by this pest are maize, oats, barley, rice, pearl millet, rye, sorghum and wheat. Let me tell you about the habits of Citrotroga cerealella. Its life cycle is completed in about 35 days. Female lays eggs in clumps or singly on the surface of the grain. The newly hatched caterpillar bores directly into the grain and typically remains inside the grain for both larval and pupal development. After 5 moltings, larvae pupate within the empty grain. Adult emerge out and mate within 24 hours and start breeding. Regarding the breeding habits of this insect, breeding occurs from April to November. 
they are two hibernating stages larvae hibernate in winter and pupae in spring regarding the damage maximum damage is caused by the caterpillar as caterpillar feeds on the grains in case of bulk storage only upper layers are infested and in case of gunny bags the grains on the periphery are attacked by the caterpillar the next pest is red floor beetle zoological name of this pest is tribolium castineum regarding the taxonomic status this pest belongs to class insecta order coleoptera family tenbryonidae it is cosmopolitan in distribution that means the red floor beetle practically occur all over the world it is the most common and serious pest of wheat floor about 85% of all the insects in floor mills are the floor beetles although they severely attack wheat floor but floor of all starchy materials like peas nuts dry fruit and prepared cereal food also such as corn flakes are also attacked by these beetles regarding their habits this pest attracted to grains with high moisture tribolium castaneum is able to fly short distances the adult beetles are attracted towards light but will go towards cover when disturbed life span of adult tribolium is 540 days tribolium castaneum hibernate in winters so life cycle is completed in 42 days in summer but prolonged in winter female lays white eggs on the floor the larval stage is grub which emerge out from the eggs Fixation occurs on the surface of the floor stage. Now the damage. Typically these beetles can be found not only inside the infested grain products but in cracks in crevices where grain may have spilled you can see in this slide that how tribolium castaneum damage the grains and they also cause a gray lint to the grain they are infesting the beetles give off a displeasing odor and their presence encourages mold growth in the grain both the adult and the larvae cause damage not only to the floor but the floor products also so you can see in this slide feeding damage of tribolium castaneum now the next pest is the lesser grain borer zoological name of this pest is rhizopertha dominica its common name is susri or the sursri regarding the taxonomic classification or the systematic position this pest belongs to class insecta order coleoptera and family bostricidae genus rhizopertha and species is dominica that's why its zoological name is rhizopertha dominica The beetle pest Rhizopertha dominica is cosmopolitan in distribution. Originally this beetle inhabited India but has now spread practically all over the world. It is a serious pest in its nature and the extent of damage. Rhizopertha dominica attacks wheat, rice, maize, barley, jowar and dry fruit. Rhizopertha dominica breeds from April to November. it passes winter hibernated as larva or adult the eggs are deposited either near the embryo end on the grain or simply dropped in between the grains the larvae feed on floor formed by the boring beetles or they enter damaged the grains and feed inside them pupation occurs within the grains 
Adults are voracious feeders. The total life cycle is completed in 28 to 70 days. There are generally 5 generations in a year. Now the damage. Both larvae and adults damage the grains as both are voracious feeder. Due to this habit, the grains reduce to mere perforated shells. They also produce a considerable frass on which the young grubs feed till they are able to bore into the grains. Here you can see in this slide that how the damage is caused by Rehizopertha dominica. The whole grains often get reduced to sort of mere hollow broken shells and become unfit for the consumption. So this is all about the pests of stored grains and how they can be controlled. Now in this session we are going to discuss that how different questions may be framed from this chapter. So let us discuss about that. There are two categories of questions. One is very short answer type questions which are to be answered in one to two lines and this will cover up the first compulsory question of your paper. Second category is of short answer type questions which can be answered in a single paragraph sometime along with the supporting diagram or table or flow chart. So first of all very short answer type questions and the first question from this category is what is zoological name of Dora? Second is write the classification of rice weevil. Third is, what is the systematic position of Callosobranchus maculatus? Next is, write the zoological name of Capra beetle. Next is, what is zoological name of Angumois grain mold? Next is, what is the damage causing stage of Tribolium? Castanium. Next question is, what are host of grain and floor mold? And the last question from this category is, what is the common name of Rehizopertha dominica? Now the short answer type questions and the first question from this category is, what is the damage causing stage of Callosobranchus maculatus. How does it cause the damage? Next is write the systematic position, habits, and damage caused by rice weevil. Next is explain the life cycle of wheat weevil. Next question is, write the taxonomic status and habits of the following. Number 1, Khapra beetle. 2, Dhura. 3, Susari. And the last question from this category is, write the geographical distribution, general appearance, habits and control of Wheat we will. Now do all the questions, make a PDF and send it to your teacher in your college. It helps you in examination. Thank you. Goodbye.